guys welcome back so for today's video we are chatting again about books and I'm really excited because I had a lot of fun in my last book video I did like a whole year in review of all the books I read in 2021 if you have not watched that I'm gonna link it somewhere um, but that was fun to just kind of recap everything I read and rate it and you know all that but today I wanted to get a little bit more specific and share 10 books that I think will get you into reading. Maybe if it's your goal for the new year, um, I, I don't, how long do we say new year? It's March now, but like, I feel like I'll be saying new year for a while because how is it 2022? I don't know. Or maybe you're in a reading rut. I think these books will get you into it. They're all page turners. They're all exciting. There's some suspense, there's some romance, and then just like, you know, everything in between. So I think there's something for everyone. Um, if you guys are interested in hearing more, keep watching. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Before we get into the books, I do want to share a little bit about my Kindle. I kind of just touched on it in my last video, but I wanted to just kind of give a little shout out because I'm just obsessed with it. Marcus got it for me for my birthday in August, and I'm just in love with it. I think it's the best way to read. I love a real book, and like, I get it. There's some draw to that and I do still have physical books that I want to read that I bought before I got this Kindle so I will go back and forth occasionally but for the most part I love my Kindle. I think for some reason, I can't even explain it, I read faster on this. You just tap through the pages, it's so fast. You can adjust the font size, you can click on words that you're not familiar with, which I think is really helpful because there's some things that like, you know, I'll read and I'll be like, I'm actually not really sure what that means. So it's nice to be able to highlight it and look at a definition, you know, kind of helps you learn some new words. Um, and then also I think my number one reason for loving it is that you can read in the dark. Obviously can't do that with a real book. You always need like some type of light. I know there's like little lights you can clip on your book, um, but this is just so nice. I would not describe it even like close to what a phone is. You guys can tell there's no like real glare on it. You can read it in the sun. You can read it in the dark. It adjusts kind of to the lighting that you're in, but you can also like brighten or darken the light, whatever you want. Um, but I love that I can read it in the dark because it's really nice if Marcus is tired and goes to sleep, I can stay up and read. I don't have to like watch TV and keep him up. Um, and then also it's just kind of like nice to wind down in the dark and go to sleep with this. There's no blue light that emits from it, so it's not damaging to your eyes. And it's just great. So there's so many reasons that I love it, but those are just a few that I wanted to share. Um, I would definitely recommend. This is just the Paper White, I believe that's what it's called. It's the most basic Kindle that they have. I personally don't think you need like the super fancy one. I'm sure there's perks to it, but I have been loving my simple one all the same. So um, that's my Kindle that I love. Everyone say hi to her. Um, I do have a Goodreads too that I wanted to share if you guys want to follow me on there and kind of keep up with what I'm reading, see my reviews and just what I want to read. I have like a whole wish list of things that I want to read. Um, so I will link that below if you guys want to check that out. But let's go ahead and get into the books. Um, I do not have physical books to share. Like I mentioned in my last one since I do read on my Kindle. So I'm just reading them off of my notes. I made a list of my top books that I think you guys would love. So the first book I wanted to mention is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. So I actually read this last year and I read it in a matter of days. I was so into it and I could not put it down. So this is more of like a murder mystery kind of story. There's also some love and then some betrayal. Um, so it's just kind of all of the best forms of drama into one. And I think that if you guys like that sort of thing, you will really love it. it will definitely get you out of a rut or, you know, get you invested in reading because you want to just keep reading because you want to know what's going to happen. You like how I'm doing this, like I'm turning a page, even though I don't do that on a Kindle. Um, but you guys get the idea. So the guest list is basically about a wedding where a murder takes place. And the entire time you're kind of wondering who did it, who done it, you don't know. And that's why you want to keep turning the page to see what's going to happen. So that's all I'll say. I don't want to get too into the details because we will be here all day. I'm trying to work on how much I talk in my videos and in life. But um, yeah, that's the guest list. Highly recommend it. On to the next book, I have Verity by Colleen Hoover. And just in general, if you guys are looking for some books to get into, I highly recommend Colleen Hoover. She's an amazing writer. And just she tells amazing stories and knows how to hook you in. Every book I've read from her has been something that I've loved. I haven't read one yet that I haven't liked. Verity is again, a suspenseful thriller. My jaw was on the floor multiple times. And there's so many twists and turns that the book takes that have just you know, that keeps you on your toes. So I'm just going to give a quick little summary on the book. Um, Verity is about an author who got into a really bad accident and she no longer can finish her
her book because she is pretty much bedridden. So they hire another author to come in and basically write under her name so she can finish her famous series because the fans are waiting, they're waiting for their next book and they don't wanna let everyone down. So, but there are things that are not what they seem. And as this author comes into her home and go through her notes and write this book for her, there are a lot of shocks and surprises that happen that people do not know about her. So it just becomes a very kind of like twisted story and it's very unexpected, but very, very good. So I don't wanna to say too much, but it is 10 out of 10 or five stars, whatever you say. Moving on to the next one, I have The Last Mrs. Parish by Liv Constantine. I had to include this because this was my book that got me into reading. I think when I was just starting to get into books, I kind of put a box of my story, a question box, asking you guys for recommendations. And I got so many recommendations for this book. And I'm so glad that I did because this is the book that hooked me into reading. And I have recommended it to so many friends since that are on that same journey of like trying to get into reading but not knowing where to start. That is a great one. It's kind of a book that's told from two different perspectives, which I think is really cool. So the first half of the book, or however much, is told by a woman who is basically trying to infiltrate on this marriage that she is very envious of. She wants to be the wife. She's kind of twisted in her own way, very much twisted, um, but she wants to be the wife. She wants to be rich. She wants to be, you know, a trophy wife taken care of. She just wants this life that her friend has. Yeah, it's her friend, which makes it even worse. And then once you get to the second half or so of the book, you hear everything from the wife's perspective. And it's just so good and so entertaining. Like I, the friends that I've recommended it to that read it, they were like, oh my gosh, that was so amazing because it is so good and it will really, really hook you in. So I definitely recommend that one. It's what did it for me. So I think you guys will love it too if you guys are new to reading. I know it's a really popular book, but you know, if there's any chance you haven't read it, I think you should. And I've been reading for years that that book is supposed to be like a TV show or a movie. No idea where it is. I'm so sick of like seeing the books that I love get the film right spot or the TV right spot. And then like you don't hear anything for years. Like what? But meanwhile, Luckiest Girl Alive that I like despise that book. The turnaround time was like, oh, there's a Netflix movie coming out this year and I just read it last year. But anyways, on to our next book. I have Every Last Secret by A.R. Torrey. So I wanted to share this right after I mentioned The Last Mrs. Parrish because this has a very similar vibe to that book. Another really entertaining one has a very similar storyline. If maybe you read The Last Mrs. Parrish and you just want more, um, I think this is another very similar book that will hook you right in. I read this one more recently and I did really enjoy it. I finished it in just a few days because I really, I wanted to know what was gonna happen. So that was a good one. Um, and then on to my next one, I have The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. So um, this is a good one. I really like this genre, if you guys couldn't tell. I think especially when you're first getting into reading, you need things that are like very stimulating. And that's exactly what these books are. Like they do not waste a minute. There's so many twists and turns and like things are happening, okay? So this book is about a girl who's marrying the man of her dreams, the summary says, and his ex-wife is basically trying to stop this marriage from happening. And she has her own reasons that you will learn. So if you've liked the last few that I mentioned, this one is for you too. It's the same vibe, you know, trust me. Okay, I will be getting into some romance books, but I do have one more psychological thriller, you guessed it. Um, this one is called A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lapena, or Lapena. I've never heard the name out loud, I only read it. This author actually kills the genre as well. Basically the main character gets into a bad accident. Well, I think she runs into a pole and crashes her car. She's left with a bad concussion and absolutely no memory of like what happened before the accident. But the details are, are that she was like fleeing a scene. She's kind of having to put the pieces together herself. And her husband is even looking at her like he doesn't really even know who she is after all of this goes down. So it's another like kind of mystery you wanna keep reading because you're like, what the hell is gonna happen here? But that is the last of that genre for this video. So we are gonna move on a little bit more to romance. Um, and I have a kind of a mix of different types of romance. These are not all just like, you know, cheesy, easy reads. There are, you know, there's one, but um, for the most part, these are not like one dimensional stories and they're amazing books. So the first one that I just absolutely had to mention is Before We Were Strangers by Renee Carlino. This is my favorite book. I think, well, my favorite book of all time is Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I don't recommend for a new reader or for someone that is trying to get into reading because it is more of a, you know, dense book, but it's an amazing story if you guys are up for it. It's 
the best book. I think my, you know, maybe second favorite book that I've read, I just like wanted to keep living in this world of this book, is Before We Were Strangers. I demand a movie ASAP. I was obsessed with the characters, completely in love with the story. I think it was one of the cutest love stories that I ever read. So this is kind of a story about a second chance at love. This is a couple that met in college, but they kind of went their separate ways. They were on different paths, but they somehow find their way back to each other. This is the kind of book that takes you from present day to past. Um, so you'll hear from the characters in their adult life, but then they'll also go back to their college life and when they originally fell in love and then just kind of you know, I, you know, this is a romance, but I do think there are some like shocking moments that happen that you're like, no, I just like, there were so many times that it just completely broke my heart, but times where I was just like, my heart was bursting. I don't want to sound too cheesy, but this book is so good and I just can't recommend it enough. I also had Marcus's mom read it and she loved it. Um, I do recommend Renee Carlino too. She kills this genre. There's multiple books that I've read from her that are amazing. Wish You Were Here being one of them. If you read it and you guys like it, please message me or comment. I would love to hear from you guys and hear your thoughts on one of my favorite books. It's so good. And onto a more lighthearted love story. So it happened one summer by Tessa Bailey. This is one that if you're looking for a very easy read, just something very light and easy and cute and sweet, I think you should read this one. Um, but there is something you guys should know about Tessa Bailey. It's basically like there's many sex scenes in these books. And I don't know if it's just because in my books, like there's always those moments, but it's never like a full chapter. So that's kind of what you can expect with this book. It's very spicy. I'll just say that. So um, but these books are really good and they're really cute. I always enjoy reading them. They're very easy to read. They kind of like, you know, help you escape a little bit. I just, I do, I really love her writing. Um, and this one has been my favorite from her by far. It basically takes place in like a Pacific Northwest beach town. And the main character comes there for the summer to kind of, you know, see where her dad came from because he passed away when she was young. She never really knew him, but he is from this town that she didn't grow up in. So she kind of goes back and wants to like figure out more about her roots and she goes there and of course she meets somebody and it's just the cutest story i just love it so um, i don't want to say too much it's really all you need to know it's a love story has a really nice setting nice backdrop and um, it's a good one i think you guys will like it if you guys are into this sort of thing also it sounds like i just described a hallmark movie but um it definitely could not be on hallmark i'm just gonna say that Moving on. Um, the next one is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, another Colleen Hoover book. I tried my best not to have like five Colleen Hoover books in this video because I need some, you know, some different authors, but honestly, you can't go wrong with any Colleen Hoover. I think any book you guys will love. Um, but It Ends With Us, I know I mentioned romance, and this is definitely a romance story, but it has many very, very hard topics that they tackle in this book, but it's an amazing book and really just gave me like a new perspective on the topic discussed in this book. If you guys have any topics you try to avoid in books, I would suggest you looking at the trigger warnings on this one just so that you know what you're getting yourself into. I have described it as like heartbreakingly beautiful because it is a beautiful story, but it's it destroyed me. <laughs> That sounds like you're like, why do I want to read that? It just, it really left an impact on me. And it just basically these two characters get into what seems to be a very loving relationship and it very quickly becomes extremely toxic. And um, I think that might be triggering to a lot of people. So that's why I wanted to mention that for you guys and just, you know, look at whatever else you see online just so you can be sure what you're getting into before you read. And I recommend you do that with any book that you read. If you guys have any topics you do not want to be triggered by, there are websites where you can look at triggers on every single book and you can kind of protect your energy and just like read accordingly. So this is another book that kind of takes you back from past to present. Um, you kind of go back and forth. The main character does tell the story of her first love and then you go to this present day in this kind of toxic abusive love that she's in and you just kind of follow her story and it's extremely interesting. I know this went viral on TikTok like however long ago and it's honestly for good reason. It's an amazing book and also one that's being made into a movie that I am very excited to see because this is one of my favorite books and it, the story is just like so like gut-wrenching um but i'm excited to see how this is going to turn out i'm like unsure how they're going to handle these topics in a movie but um it's a great story nonetheless and make sure you guys read the author's excerpt at the end or whatever they call that at the end more about the book or you know whatever this book calls it where she kind of shares her own personal experience and 
her inspiration behind this story and that even for me like made the book so much more amazing hearing about her own journey and her own life. Sorry I feel like I was talking about that one for a while but it's an amazing book and if you guys have read it let me know in the comments what you thought of it and if you're gonna read it I would love to hear. Um, I gave that one five stars all the way around. It's amazing. Okay so I know I said 10 books but this next one is actually a series but I wanted to just include it as one book because I think just the series as a whole I highly recommend. But it was one of my favorite series that I read and it's the Crazy Rich Asian series. I read these books after I saw the movie because I absolutely love the movie. If you guys have seen it, let me know. I just love the glamour and just the way it was filmed and just like the story. I was so interested and I just absolutely loved it. Um, so I wanted more. I knew it was based on books. I was just like, I want to see what's going to happen next. And I read the series and I loved it. I think that if you guys enjoyed that movie and you want to get more into reading, that is a good way to do it because you already kind of have like an image of what these characters look like you're already invested in the story so now you can just go forward on reading the rest of the story and you already have that like invested interest and I'm waiting on that second movie like when is that gonna come out I feel like it's been so long um, I don't know if it's been filmed or if it's being filmed but I absolutely loved it and now that I've read the books I'm just like even more excited but I do want to say if you've seen the first movie this doesn't mean you can skip the first book you still need to read the first book because there's so many moments that aren't in the movie obviously they have to cut a lot for time but the first book was amazing and having already seen the movie I still was super interested and still very you know into it so I think you should read it if you guys like it that is everything for today those are my 10 books that I think will get you into reading I have more of course I was debating on just doing like 15 books or you know just as many as I could but I wanted to cap it at 10 so it's a little bit more digestible and easy to watch um, but if you guys want to see more videos like this just let me know I would love to share I could do a video on my personal favorite books if you guys want that I know maybe you've heard about them because I mention it in a lot of these videos like this is my favorite book that I read but if you guys want to see that, let me know. I'm very interested in doing more videos on books because it has become such a big part of my life now. Um, I just finished reading Beach Read. If you guys have read that, I really loved that. And then before that, I just finished the new Colleen Hoover book. If you guys have read that, let me know. I know that just came out, I think, in maybe January or February. Um, but I read it in February. It was very good. So I will have Amazon links to all of these books below. You guys can purchase the book or, you know, download it on your Kindle or even listen to it on Audible, whatever works for you. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment below and say hi or let me know if you've read these books. If you have any recommendations for me based on the recommendations that I've shared with you today, I would love to hear. I'm always open to recommendations. So let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.